what is the best way you've ever cut costs on an indie film? Oh my God. I can, I can think of all the worst ways first. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Like, the worst way is craft services. There's pizza every day. For the actors, tell me what about this story made you feel like you wanted to be a part of its telling? It's one of those stories that, that has to be told. You know what I mean? It's, it, it resonates so well. And me, myself, I'm from the Deep South. I'm from New Orleans. And my grandfather, he was in the Korean War. So it's, it's somewhat his life. Like Jason, like both my grandfathers, you know, fought in different wars. My mother, my, my maternal grandfather fought in World War II. My paternal grandfather fought in Korea. And both those men, you know, were from rural, you know, like one was from rural Tennessee, one was from rural Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And they came back and weren't able to kind of have the life that they expected. And mm -hmm. so, you know, just this idea like really stuck with me about, you know, being able to be, be seen as the person you are inside and outside the uniform. And also one of the things that drew me to the story was the relationship between the women and the potential for that and like everybody's fighting on their own front lines. So like Laura and Florence are at the front lines of their family and so they're kind of like navigating this gap. Carrie and Mary, maybe you can tell me about playing these women and what you sort of gravitated to about their stories. The reason why I gravitated towards Florence because um, my family's from the south as well, Savannah, Georgia, and as a child we went down south every summer and those women raised me. So that's what made me gravitate to towards the role, is actually seeing those women and those women living through me. I think there was just something really beautiful about someone being raised in a social hierarchy in a segregated society that was so ingrained in their life, mm -hmm. but then meeting someone that totally changed that ideology. Um, and I think the relationship between Laura and Florence does that. What's the most important thing a woman has taught you in your own life? For me to just kind of to keep going, just to like, you know, in terms of like being recognized or being like, you know, acknowledged, you may never hear that, they may never say your name, but to keep going anyway, to keep working, to keep, you know, just mm -hmm. perseverance, I'd say. That's and a, uh, appreciation. My mom always kind of ragged on us for not appreciation, uh, yeah. appreciating everything we were given goes from you know, food on the table to the clothes on your back to, um, you know, to the, the, the situations we're given um, just in life and, and to appreciate all no matter what you're handed.